So here's the assembly. Um, just so you know what junk I'm using, there's going to be little pictures like that uh, and little pictures like this that show you the object I took the junk from. So this little dome is part of a window cleaning bottle, just for your records. As well as that little trigger there, that's part of a spray. I use a lot of pieces from spray bottles, uh, take them apart, there's all sorts in there. Now here is some super glue containers. I, I like using super glue containers, they're kind of weird, weird shapes you'll never be able to make yourself. And funny thing about super glue containers, super glue doesn't really stick to it, so you have to keep trying with that. Lids, uh, keep a big collection of lids. I keep a big collection because uh, they're just round shapes that are a pain in the ass to make generally and you can use them for most things. Uh, Carex, uh, squirty hand soap bottles, really good. The little pumps are really good for like turbine -y engine things and the, uh, well, I use the little squirty bit nozzle for, I don't know what they are, little flaps. These are pound store yo-yos, you get a pack of like 20 for a pound and you can take them apart and make these weird little dishes. Um, I have no idea what they are, but uh, they look good. Uh, washing up liquid, the lids, another example of good lids to use. Uh, and they're boosters, make it go fast. Uh, McFlurry spoons. They're good shapes, these McFlurry spoons. Uh, I use them quite a bit. I don't, you know, I don't want to eat McFlurries, but I want their spoons. Let's leave it at that. Here's the nozzle from a super glue um, thing. And here is a piece of an old toy robot that I had, so I don't really expect you to get your hands on this, but you know, what you can take from it is that you can use scissors to cut plastic. There you go. These are clothes pegs, you can get like 50 for a pound in the pound shop or a dollar store, and uh, they've got some weird grill patterns on it. Look, they make little cool wings. There you go. I have a little look at that. It looks like a, looks kind of like something now. These are little nozzles or little ends of felt tip pens. You can get 20, 40 of those for a pound in a pound shop. I always take them apart. They're just cheap plastic. These are the little clamp bits at the end of clamps you get in the pound store. I, mean, I do a lot of pound store shopping, let's be honest. They make good little feet. Felt tip pens again. Um, yeah, I, I kind of discovered this the other day. Like, you know, we're going to get a lot of cheap tubey plastic that I can cut up and use and felt tip pens you get them like dirt cheap here again uh, part of a spray bottle it's the uh, the little tube that goes in feeds the liquid to the to the nozzle um, cut it up made a little exhaust out of it so here's the obligatory granny grating and styrene section I always do a little styrene pass on my models you don't have to you can use white card but I take the styrene and pierce little bolts in it from the other side with a pin. And uh, here's another way I make bolts, is with uh, rhinestone gem sticker thingies. I dip them in uh, super glue and stick them all over the place. Uh, you can get these anywhere, um, but I, I tend to use the half spherical bolt looking ones. The smaller the better. And here is some garden cord and garden wire. I use this all the time. It's like it's like armature wire, but it's cheap and you can get it anywhere. And uh, I have it sticking out everywhere, like tubes and pipes and wires. Back to the styrene. I'm piercing little bolt shapes in here and making little uh, little edges and plates to stick all over the the craft, like it's been in the walls. And here we go. There, there it is. The a vibrantly coloured camp spaceship. Now it's time to paint. I spray painted it black first, obviously, and, and I dabbed grey over the whole thing to add a little bit of extra texture with the paint. Uh, dry brush with a bit of silver. I think I decided against grey eventually, but um, we'll see. This is some brown wash I made myself with um, white spirit and oil paint, and maybe it's a little bit too thick. I kind of panicked at this point. Um, but, you know, dab it dab it clean it you can wash the sins away now I used a bit of this kind of baby blue color it worked well with the dirty rust underneath uh, dabbled that on and I masked for some decals some nice bright orange to go with that nice bright blue why why not some decals on the wings some uh, stencils and this is the best bit oh look at that oh peel that off 
and some more wash because I'm an idiot. Yeah, I went a bit wash crazy with this. Uh, here's some homemade black wash just to add to the uh, the mess already. But I do like my models distressed and dirty, but I think I went a bit too far with this one. And a little dry brush of silver to try and bring out that detail when done. And here's the result. It's a spaceship. Um, yeah, I think you knew I was making a spaceship probably by the thumbnail that you saw as you clicked on the video. Uh, it used to be blue. For some reason, it doesn't look blue whatsoever anymore, but it's just a general weathered color. Um, but enjoy the glamour shots, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, all that crap, and uh, yeah, I guess maybe, maybe I'll see you next time. Bye!